Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do prenatal massage with trigger point therapy. So once the client comes in, you would just uh, need to let her know on what side to lay on and then uh, she would just need to put her bottom leg uh, straight and the top leg on the pillow and the same with her arms. Uh, so, okay, once, once the client is ready, you, uh, you can just start with uh, regular compressions. Uh, so it's basically like a regular massage, but um, prenatal, with prenatal massage, you would avoid uh, working deep on their arms and their feet, on their uh, hands, I mean, and their feet. Um, you can do a uh, massage on their ha hands and feet, but uh, with very light pressure. Uh, otherwise, it's just uh, like a regular massage. Uh, the same with compressions, it's just uh, the way they lay in is different. And so you would just do regular compression. And make sure, so if the client lays on her left side, uh, mostly uh, you would be working on her right side because that's uh, more comfortable for you. And once she turns over, on, the, on her other side, that's when you would work on her left side. And uh, uh, so this is how you do uh, undraping on, uh, for her back. So you would just make a triangle. Make sure you don't expose uh, lower than her hip. So you would just grab the sheet from here and wrap it, tuck it like this, and this part, the bottom part, you would just tuck it under. And this you would just roll it this way so you would have a uh, perfect, perfect uh, corner right here. Okay? And once the, the back is ready for you to work, you can just apply oil on your forearms and elbows. Apply oil really quick on Klein's back. And then you can start working on her upper shoulders. Or you can start with her lower back, just like this. And start doing deep a flourish on her erector's muscles. Going all the way up to her upper shoulder. And then you can work with your hands as well. So just warm up the muscles first. Then you can do Deep effleurage with your with your palms. So there are different ways uh, to warm up the muscles, but uh, I would recommend to start actually with your uh, with your palms, like these this part. And again, always uh, make sure the, to use your body weight. Uh, so my position, as you can see, one leg in the back, one leg in the front. So that way I have more leverage. And once I start uh, applying the pressure with my palms, I bend my knee, as you can see. And my elbows are locked. And once I go uh, towards her upper back, I move with my legs this way. And then I can go all the way on top so I can have better access to her shoulders, shoulder muscles. So once you work on her, once you've done a uh, deep effleurage, you can start searching for uh, trigger points. And of course, if the client mentioned uh, uh, before that she has tension in her upper back and neck, you can start uh, with that area or or lower back. Uh, most of the time uh, they would have tension in their uh, mid-back, 
towards their lower back. Uh, so that's the area definitely uh, we would need to work on as well. Uh, but from every day life, uh, they always have tension on their shoulders and neck as well. So it's good to focus on both of those areas. So we, in this case, we would start from her shoulder and search for the trigger points just the way we do with a regular massage. So first I would start searching with my forearm or you can search with your uh, thumbs. And once you start, uh, when, once you find trigger points, just like with regular massage, she would ask if that's the area that's bothering them and ask for the, uh, if there's a shooting once you find something. So for example, I, I found something over here. So I would ask my client, does it feel like a spot? Okay. So it looks like that's the spot. And then I would ask if it's shooting anywhere. Okay, so my client told me that uh, it uh, shoots up to her neck. And then I would ask what uh, pressure does she feel from one to 10. And uh, 10 is uh, most painful, uh, most intense, and one is nothing. But uh, you would need to make sure that you are staying right on the trigger point, right, on, uh, right in the center of it. So you, I would support with Same my way. other hand. Okay, so my client uh, already mentioned that she, uh, this is seven, which is perfect. So you would let your client know that that's the number that we need because with number seven, that's when uh, trigger points um, go away faster because that way muscles are uh, still relaxed and they're not, they don't fight back. And at the same time, it's intense enough for the trigger point for the crystals uh, to be removed and that's how trigger points um, go away. Crystals that form those trigger points. So the trigger point basically is the tightest spot in the muscle uh, that has lack of oxygen, lack of blood circulation. So our goal is uh, to hit that muscle with a certain amount of pressure and with a certain angle. And we would stay on it for a couple seconds, for like eight seconds. And that's how trigger points little by little go away. So I would, after I would work, uh, after working deep on that spot, I would uh, do a couple strokes back and forth, uh, and I would go back to it again. So I would, uh, I would do deep work on those trigger points maybe like a, uh, two or three times, not more than that. So you don't want to aggravate uh, that trigger point. And, um, and we already see that this area uh, got uh, uh, pink. That means we rushed all the blood flow into this area. That means, uh, which is great because uh, that's what we need as well because after we even we're done with massage, muscles will be healing by themselves, which is great. Okay, so we, we that's one of the areas you would find a trigger point. This one was a haramboid muscle. Uh, then over here we would find actually, um, yeah, it was rhomboid. So over here, there's another area where you would find a uh, levator scapular trigger point, but um, I don't feel anything in my client's case. I do feel upper trap tension. So in that case, I would stand from here. And as you can see my position, um, every time I try to work on trigger points, I make sure that I have um, the right position for it and uh, enough leverage. And uh, upper trapezius, usually uptight, so I would definitely focus on those areas. But again, if the client mentions that uh, she has tension there, but most of the time uh, clients do mention that they have tightness in their upper back. And then neck, you can work from here uh, or you would stand from this side and grab, uh, working with your thumbs, you can start from the side, moving to the center, from the side to her spine, from her side to the, her spine, 
and that way actually uh, I'm using my my body weight and my whole body is basically moving as I'm moving my thumb because if you would just work with your um, just with your hand just with your thumb it wouldn't be as effective so as you can see So that way we can search for trigger points. And if there's anything, I do feel there's tension right here. And I would just do either circular friction or cross fiber friction. You don't need to uh, really ask about every clicking that you would find. Um, if that's the spot or anything like that, because sometimes you can just like easily uh, work on them by just clicking them back and forth because you might find a lot of those and there's not enough time within 60 minutes it's impossible to get rid of all the uh, trigger points so you would you would focus just uh, mostly on those that they mentioned okay so then to work on their uh, lower back so Make sure that the, and the area is undraped well. And uh, lower back is usually, you would find trigger points in their QL, quadrus lumborum muscle, which is located right here under the last rib and uh, between the last rib and the iliac crest. So it's around this area. So you would look for it with your elbow by pressing down with this corner with this angle just like that again um, it depends on clients uh, preference of the pressure if they like deep pressure then you can search with the elbow or you can be more careful and look for the trigger point with your with your thumbs and then uh, to look for the trigger point in their erectors, uh, which are these muscles right here, most of the time it would be like this area where it would be the trigger point. So you would do the cross fiber friction and if you find something clicking and tight, you would just uh, focus on them. Again, as you can see my position, one leg in the front, one leg in the back, and as I'm going, as I'm crossing, I just bend my knees, my first, my front knee to move forward and apply pressure that way. And again, once you find the trigger point, you can uh, work with your thumbs, uh, knuckles, or elbows, or you can just, if the whole muscle feels tight, the stroke is really great. Uh, just grab this with this hand, you would uh, support your elbow. And with your elbow, you would just follow the line right along the spine, right next to the spine. And make sure you, uh, to be very uh, careful. So basically from here to here, this is the area that I'm pressing with. So starting from their lower back muscle, muscles and all the way and as you can see I shift myself my legs along with my arm to make it smooth you can just go around the shoulder and you can go back the same way and you can actually click uh, the same way you will click in with your thumbs, you can uh, do the same click in with your forearms or elbow. And after you've done all this uh, deep work, you can again do a deep effleurage. And uh, actually, actually, if you feel that there's not enough oil, you can apply more oil. And 
apply all over the back. And you can do a deep effleurage. And that's another actually great move. You could just move your whole body and work on the trapezius muscle. That feels actually really good for the client. And again, do a couple more deep effleurage strokes with both of your uh, palms on both of the sides. So that feels great for them. And then you can just finish up just like that. Just like with a regular massage, you can just finish up like this with their neck. Pause here for a second, really tight. And then cover with the sheet first, wipe it really quick, and then cover with the blanket. Okay, and that's how you start prenatal massage on their back.